Hey guys, this is Airbrush FX, and today I'm giving you a tutorial video on how to change your airbrush art into digital art. And as you can see, you're going to need Photoshop and Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator to do this. So, as you can see here, we are in Photoshop, and what you want to do is just open your original image that you've taken a picture of, you know, from a t-shirt or anything, in your, pretty much, yeah, just open the picture of your airbrush image. And the first thing to note is that when you're doing this, you don't want to work with a super big picture, so you want to go ahead and make it smaller. By doing that, just go to Image at the top and click on Image Size and go ahead and as you can see it says 3000 here I'm going to make this down to more of a, around 800 to work with because this way in Illustrator it's easier it doesn't make as many points because when you're bringing in Illustrator you want to convert it into points and if it's bigger as you can see I make it uh, 800 there and when you bring it into Illustrator if it's really big, it's going to make a bunch of points that you can't um, that you can't really use. And here you want to go to uh, next step is go to uh, uh, image adjustments and go ahead and go to hue and saturation and turn the saturation all the way down. That just makes it black and white. Next, go to image adjustments layers and go ahead and um, this just makes the darks darker and the lights brighter. You can go ahead and just mess with the, this you know pull both of them in a little bit make it something like that and um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, you can sometimes go here and go to filter artistic and go to cutout uh, what this does is make it all actually like just two colors no shades at all but for this particular image I I didn't do it just because I figured um, I didn't really need to the other thing you can do that I forget to do here is um, go ahead and you can save the image out and then go into Illustrator. But the other thing you can do is you can go ahead and uh, erase any kind of things that are in the way, like on the top there. But now you want to go into Illustrator and open the image that you just saved. And from here you will go to you'll select the image there's the image and you just want to go to um, select if if I'm going to select it yeah oh, I gotta change my workspace here and then select it and then at the top it'll say um, live trace you click that it'll bring down a drop down menu if I click it, yep, yeah. and then I, you can choose any of these, but I choose Simple Trace, and it does that. And from here, you can, uh, you'll see that some parts are cut out and stuff, that's fine, because that's what you're going to be working with. Obviously, at this point, it looks all um, lumpy and uh, jagged, and, and this is where you, you got to take the time to fix it. And right here, I'm messing with the threshold at the top, which pretty much just, um, adjusts uh, you know how uh, how much white is going to come through and how much black is going to stay uh, but I find uh, a little uh, happy medium here between them and this looks good uh, the first thing yeah that you'll see is at the top we got that big um, blob or whatever that we want to get rid of and again another really bad spot is right here in the queue um, these really aren't too bad of uh, areas to do um, and what you're going to be using to adjust all this is the pen tool the uh, the remove anchor point um, convert anchor point and also the um, the white arrow because the white arrow will let you touch grab individual points and move them around um, here um, I'm going to show you how to do how to fix up some areas like um, the edge of the queue inside the queue 
Um, all you can do is I, I just got the uh, subtract subtract pen uh, delete anchor point tool up here and you just want to go through and delete some of these that you don't need um, which and then as you can see I'm using the uh, convert anchor point I'm just moving these around to smooth out and yeah that's pretty much it you kinda just uh, there's not really much I can tell you with this using the pen tool. I mean, it just takes practice to to get the hang of things. Um, there's also other um, tools uh, or tutorials on just how to use the pen tool in general. Uh, but at any time you saw there, I messed up. At any time you mess up, you can just go edit undo. Like if you accidentally delete the wrong point or whatnot, um, you can just uh, undo it. So that's good. Um, here I'm just fixing up this, the top of the inside of the queue. I'm not going to show the whole thing because honestly, I actually went through and did the entire, uh, fixed all this up nice and actually looked really good at the end. Um, but all in all, it took me about an hour um, to do, to do the entire thing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that here in a minute after this, but I'm going to speed it up. But th you get the gist of um, you get the gist of it. Um, I'm just kind of moving these points around. Just ke keep messing with it. You ever mess up? Just keep doing undo, um, and that's pretty much it. And if you ever need to move an area, you you want to click the the white arrow. Like if you have a, I'm going to show you here on the U. But if you have an area that is like see in the U, you want to um, you want to um, you know move that over so it's connected. It's not hard. You just grab the um, um, the white arrow and you move it over with the arrow keys. I usually just move this stuff with the arrow keys. That way it's easy, nice and easy. And here I'm just rounding off this corner here. A lot of times, I'm see, I've got too many points down here. I really only need, like, one point for that whole corner. So, um, when you have more points on a corner, it's going to be hard to make it look like it's a nice curve because you're going to have little dents in it and little um, chunks. So, the, the less points, the better. The less points, the more smooth you're going to be. So, yeah. Um, here, next, this is where I'm going to go ahead and go over to the U and show you how to move this over. You just take the white arrow key, which I just changed to right there. Unfortunately, you cannot see it. And grab it and select it like that and just move. The, I'm using the arrow keys now. You just move it right over to where you want. And then that's pretty much it. Then you just go back to uh, the normal thing. You got a straight edge like that, you just grab the convert anchor point, and then that's pretty much it. And here you can see I'm speeding the rest of this up. Uh, this is, like I said earlier, this is about an hour of work sped up into about maybe a minute or so. But that's it, guys. I hope this helped you guys. Again, if you don't know how to use the Photoshop or Illustrator at all, I don't know how much this will help you, but if if it did help you guys, uh, make sure and leave a like. I want to thank everyone for subscribing. I will keep. Uh, I'm actually just got a uh, setting up my uh, creating my own airbrush setup, and um, I'll be showing that to you guys when I get my air compressor. Because uh, yeah, it's a funny story. The first air compressor I got. Um, plugged it in for about 10 minutes and it went up in smoke literally it started smoking and uh so yeah i had to order a new one online but yeah until next time guys uh, see you later